Shauna Martinez with Performance Team. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about misconceptions. One of the biggest misconceptions we get is when buyers call us off our listing signs and say that they're not working with an agent because they're literally driving around and calling the listing agent directly, thinking that they're going to get a deal. Let me tell you why that's not gonna work for you. If you are a buyer and you are looking to purchase a home, it's always in your best interest to have your own representation. Why? So this is the example that I use. One, you need to understand that the listing agreement is already signed with the seller with the listing agent. So their fiduciary duty is to the seller. It's already also spelled out the commissions and how they're gonna be paid and dispersed. So this is why when you say you go to the listing agent because you think you can either get some of that commission credited back to you or get the house for less money, you're not going about it correctly because that's actually inaccurate. Because when the listing agent gets the listing and the listing agreement, it spells out what percentage of commission is being paid out regardless of who brings the buyer. Um, there is a, a buyer compensation, a buyer's agent compensation in there, but if you're not bringing a buyer, guess who's getting that full commission? You're not getting any of it. It's already spelled out in the listing agreement. It's also illegal to pay commissions to non-licensed people in Texas. So the example I always like to use is it would be like if you were about to get a divorce and you went to your soon to be ex spouse's attorney and hired them to also represent you. It's not going to end well for you. One, because they're not going to be able to be unbiased because they're already representing your soon to be ex. They're not going to give you a discount because they're still doing a lot of work. It's double the work at that point, trying to keep two people happy who are obviously not happy. They're going through a divorce. So they're not going to give you a discount there either. And it's not going to end well for you because you don't have your own representation or anybody that's looking out for your best interest. So what I tell people is I will refer it out to another agent on my team, or you're free to find another agent. It doesn't cost the buyers any money out of their pocket to have representation and it's always going to be in your best interest because me as a listing agent, I cannot be in the best interest of the seller where my goal is to net them the most amount of money with the best terms on the listing side and then flip that on the buyer side. How can I also get you the best terms and get you into the house for the price that you want to pay and everybody's happy? It doesn't happen and that's where lawsuits happen as well. I'm not risking my livelihood. So for me, I am. it's not worth it for me to get both sides of the commission just to be able to get sued. <laughs> so if you're out there and you're looking for a home to buy, do not make the same mistake that a lot of others are where you're calling the listing agent directly and trying to get them to represent you as well as representing the seller.